top of the morning guys it's nice and early and we made it out to Phuket about two days ago and we've been basically just catching up with work the entire yesterday and today we're heading to Panga Bay which is one of the main attractions to do out in this Phuket area so right now I'm actually heading to 7-eleven getting some breakfast heading back to the hotel which I'll actually show you guys in the next video it's kind of like a budgeted stay and uh, our tour guide should be picking us up at around 7 30 a.m. and it's never too early for a toasty run Woo! Family, family photo, guys. Hello. Okay, look at me, please. So after about a 40 minute ride, we made it back to the Phuket Boat Lagoon and we're gonna be with Adam and Leisure Tour because we had an awesome tour heading to the Koh Phi Islands just last week. And today we're heading to Panga Bay, James Bond Island, which I'm really, really stoked about. So after seeing like a lot of photos, after seeing a lot of videos, it looks like Thailand's avatar. And this is gonna be our boat ride. Sawadee Ka. Woo! Always race straight uh, to the front. <laughs> so we got about a 40 minute ride and we're gonna be at our first stop. I think we're going canoeing. What do you mean you think? Oh, Are we going to canoeing? Just Not told us that we're going to what we were doing. I had no idea what was happening. Rude. I, was I always find it so funny that at the beginning of a tour, they tell you everything you're gonna do on a, on they tell you everything you're gonna do on the tour. Like right before you do the tour. The There's suspense. no room for There's, surprises. There's no suspense at all. None. Well, I make it suspenseful for you guys, so we might be going canoeing, who knows. Alright, so it was a quick little boat ride, but we made it to Panak Island, and this is the spot we're going to be doing a little canoeing. This one? Okay. Okay. So this is mine. So this is the beautiful Panak Island for our first stop. And I'm not 100% sure how long we're canoeing for, or where we're going, but I think it's pretty much around Panak Island. And it's nice because we have a guy right over here. This is our dude. So we each have our own individual individual rower. And uh, I think we're going in a cave and we're gonna check out Panak Island through canoe. Oh, I see some canoers right in there. Ooh, I think we're going in this cave. I'm scared. Ooh. I'm scared though. Ooh. Oh, cave is good. <laughs> this is cool though. And the canoe is like made of rubber, so you want to make sure it doesn't pop. <laughs> wow. So this is the end of the cave, probably in the middle of Panak Island somewhere. There was no monkeys in there, it was clearly us, and the depth is really, really shallow. And again, this boat is made of like rubber, so we're trying not to pop it or hit the wall or anything like that. I'm trying to duck too. But this area is like really, really stunning. It's, I'm, oh man, yep, try not to hit that. <laughs> we're like in some type of a lagoon, which is really, really shallow, probably because it's low tide, I guess. Not sure if this fills up, but like there's limestone rocks surrounding us. Whoop, whoop. And we pulled up somewhere. <laughs> this totally reminds me of kind of like Karon Palawan where we swam into one of the lagoons and you're just looking up and you see like limestone everywhere. Unfortunately, it's not deep enough. You can't even swim here. The water looks a little murky from what they were saying. However, it's still pretty clean. That's what they claim. Oh no, we're just turning around. <laughs> we're just turning around. So I'm the first one off the boat and I'm the first one back. Unfortunately, there isn't really too much to do there. It is very, very low tide. So we basically made it to the end of the cave. We stopped, some people walked around, took some photos. We did see one monkey there. And then uh, I ended up shooting back out of the cave. But this is our first stop. This is absolutely beautiful here. I absolutely love seeing limestone rocks surrounding me. And there's only one other place similar to this in this world. So there's two places in total and that's Halong Bay, which I checked out about three years ago. I checked it out twice. And unfortunately, one of my friends just recently went there and he said it's a a lot trashier, it's a lot dirtier, there's a lot of garbage in the water unfortunately, but this is spectacular. And the other limestone rocks are all around there, this is Pangan Bay, this is the first stop. So it was just a short 10 minute ride when we made it to James Bond Island and the ride was spectacular, so not as many tourists as we expected. We saw limestone rocks in the distance, it was super beautiful and we made it to James Bond Island. 
So I've wanted to come here for a very long time and the reason why this is called James Bond Island is because of the movie The Man with the Golden Gun who essentially, similar to what Leonardo DiCaprio did to Maya Bay, The Man with the Golden Gun blew up this island. A lot of tourists come just because of that and this place is absolutely beautiful. It's like Avatar and out of this world. And again, surprisingly, there weren't too many tourist boats here. So this isn't as bad as it was in Kopipi. But we have 30 quick minutes exploring the island. There's also some steps right behind me back there where you can climb to like a little viewpoint. There's a smoking area, there's bathrooms. Let's go hit up the smoking area and then take a deuce. Yeah, let's definitely do that. I <laughs> feel like... So we actually went all the way through to this end and there's like a little beach. There's the James Bond Island welcome sign. And there's a lot. There's like a lot of markets over there. Holy smokes. More and more tourists are arriving. And again, this is like the back door to it. So that was like a super quick 45 minutes. That back beach area that we found was the main spot that they filmed the Bond movie at. And now we're about to jump back on the boat. I think we're gonna get some lunch because we're really hungry. And then after that, there's two more stops for the day. I hope this is the right boat. I hope it is. <laughs> Woo. Super murky water, but he said it's clean, surprisingly. Believe it if you want. This place is sick. Little soccer field on this. He was saying this was made of wood before. And it was another quick little boat ride and we made it to Panji Island. Now this island was actually inhabited by Indonesians a while ago because of fishing. So this island is actually primarily Muslim. Unfortunately, I'm not really covering my shoulders or anything like that, but I think they're used to the tourists. And uh, there's around 2,500 people roughly on this island right now with all these little houses right behind me on the stilts. The place is absolutely beautiful. Look at this limestone still everywhere in the soccer field. And right now we're trying to follow our tour guide and we're gonna get some lunch on the other side of Panji Island. So we made it literally to the other side of the island. There's a full community here on this little Islamic floating village. We passed a little school. We saw like the classrooms, the soccer field. We saw everything. We made it literally to the other side of the island and we have this entire buffet set up for us. So we got lunch here real quick. And uh, how's the food, Cam? Aw, better than the fork. Better than the fork. <laughs> oh, you're so strong. <laughs> and we got a quick lunch here and then we're heading to the next spot. I'm pretty sure we're canoeing and then one last island before we head back to Phuket. I don't even know you're on string. But this looks so good. I got a lot of chicken and some rice. Nom, 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 nom. Now for the second to the last stop, we ended up making it out to Hong Island, which is a quick 10 minute boat ride. And we ended up canoeing around Hong Island with the same rower we had earlier. We made it through a couple caves. The second cave was the most impressive. All right, this is sick though. So we canoed all the way from over there and holy crap, this is so beautiful. It's like a giant cave we're canoeing through with an opening up there. Oh, bumper boats. <laughs> oh, it's like a heart. This is so pretty. I swear, this is not real life. Oh my goodness. So we made it to our final stop after about 30 minutes in the boat. Not Khao Noi, I think that's how you say it. And this is basically just a relaxing island. We can play on the beach. Yes, I said play on the beach. There's also jet skis you can rent. There's a lot of lawn chairs. You can get some beer. You got music. And this is the last stop of the day. It's just a relaxation stop for about the next hour and 20. We're chilling here and then we're heading back to Phuket. All 
All right, confirmed. The beer is 120 baht. That's like four, five bucks ish, which is ridiculous for a small beer. And to sit in those lounge chairs over here, it's 100 baht each. Three bucks. I don't know if it's worth it. It's more than U.S. prices for a small beer. Yeah, seriously. For a small, like terrible domestic beer, that's like that's, that's like $4. five dollars U.S. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is like five, yeah, bucks. That's like five, five bucks. bucks US. Not worth it. That's like if I were to go to a bar on a Sunday brunch. That's that would be. T this I is an island in the middle of freaking Thailand. You can't <laughs> charge that much for a cheap Chang. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna get the drone up, and this is gonna be the last, hopefully, clip of the day. Hopefully, they don't charge me 300 baht to shoot the drone up. We'll see. Woo! Back in Phuket. So nice to be back. We've honestly had so much sun today, and it was another awesome trip with Adam and Leisure Phuket. Highly recommend them if you guys are coming out to Phuket. Right now, the vans are like right out there. We're heading back to the hotel, and I'm gonna show you one last spot you guys should check out if you're in Thailand, Phuket, anywhere in Asia, let's say. All right, guys, so we are all showered and clean, and if you guys are out in Thailand or Southeast Asia in general, the best place, one of the best places to get food is a night market. So right now, we're gonna go to the night market and get some delicious food. Bear 75 baht, corn on the cob 25 baht, chicken shawarma only 60 baht, and mango sticky rice 50 baht. Dinner with friends and patong, priceless. <laughs> and I feel like this is a perfectly fitting spot to end this vlog. And it was an incredible day with Adam and Leisure Phuket. And again, if you guys are out in Thailand, definitely check out a night market. And besides that, this is a sad ending because Cam and Kelsey are leaving back to Bali Aww. in a few days. So I've had an incredible time hanging out with them in Bangkok the last two months, traveling with them, going on certain projects. And I'll be actually going to Bali, visiting them on January 14th, staying with That's them. Right. So if you guys get a chance, definitely follow them on Instagram, hit them up on YouTube. It's Cam and Kel, so I'll put everything below. Aww. They're like my favorite in Bali. Not the Leander Felipe. Not, <laughs> not the Leander Felipe, but it was awesome, guys. I can't wait to see you guys in Bali. We love you. Love we you guys. We can't wait to see you. Can't wait to see you guys. So again, if you guys are out in Thailand, definitely check out a night market. Enjoy Phuket, even though there's a lot of tourists. There might be one more video coming out with a budget and luxury type Phuket style. Make sure you guys smash the subscribe button, hit the like. Also comment down below on maybe some other markets that we should check out or other things we should have done in the area. And make sure you guys hit that notification bell and I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Time to eat all that food. Peace.